Greetings and welcome to another Alternate Thursday presentation. In the last episode, I fell down into a pit of madness and ended up in this place. Now, of course, that. Anyway, this time I'm gonna look at Hand of Fate. Now, I had never heard of this particular card game before until I saw someone playing it. I'm not entirely sure who I saw first, but for the sake of argument, let's say Quill 18. I figured that looks nice. Not entirely sure about the roguelike elements, though. It's because, well, as much as I like the idea of roguelike, I don't really like randomness all that much. When I'm trying to risk something in a game, I prefer it's a little bit more controlled risk. You can't really control randomness. Nevertheless, you should always open yourself to new experiences when you can, and... Well, most of the things you can do in this game, I can pretty much do anyway. Ah, one more for the game. Come, Sid. You have passed the Thirteen Gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. Back so soon? I knew you would not falter. All right then. Time to take up the enigmatic person on the other side of the table in this stunning looking card game. Alright, so for this particular playthrough I'll just be going through the first encounter. And, well, if you want more detailed uh, uh, information on exactly how this game works, I really recommend you find someone with a little bit more experience I'll mostly just be farting about. The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Here is the first member of my court. The Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. That's some nice dealing. Yeah, I Let can't. The cards fall where they may. We begin. I could never deal that fast when I'm playing solitaire. Then again, you don't really have to in Windows. Let's begin. Yeah, I apologize if the sound is not completely correct. I haven't really tested out if it works. Uh, I'm still debating whether or not I will turn this into a series I will want to, given my lack of experience with this genre of game. Mr. Lionel. I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at a local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention. And you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His, wizen his wizened face grins you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments. Then he sits patiently, waiting for your answer. Well, I don't really want to give him food, because I have so little. What do you want? What do you need? Need? I need to help you. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground, and the shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Yay, your shield. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. All 
Alright, so now I can reflect and counter. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. I will try. Mm. Fair Merith. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. One day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Hmm. I'll ask for supplies. This bread will sustain you for many days. I get two food gain cards. Free food. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Not a free food. Yeah, could be better. It is said that sharp-eyed adventurers may protect themselves from the worst of the Lady Luck's contra contrary nature. Farewell, mortal. Twisted Canyon. Ooh. That first moment. That glinting weapon. The call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. <laughs> you see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered with thick vines, perfect for climbing. Well, I'm not injured, so why not try? Pick a card, any card. Choose from these options. Success! Yay! Very carefully, you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. You retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one weapon card. An axe! Sweet. That completely replaces my rusty axe. Yes, I will. A moment that. to savor. That will make you much more effective. Ah, next to the next Down level. once more, seeking the heart of it all. Take the stairs. You're on the final floor of our simple map. Already? Your opponent waits here for you. Find him. Mm. If you defeat me, well, it is early to be talking about victories and losses. Let us see what you're made of. <laughs> An ambush. A slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster card. Ah, two of dust. That should be easy enough. Shields up, weapon system online. The mothership is ready. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. Yeah, sure, sure. We all played Batman games. While searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is still pretending to be dead. He's only pretending to be dead. Sneak up and kill them. Alright. Success. Quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. The dealer draws you for three game cards. Equipment, yay! I got another shield. A strong left arm is as important as a strong right arm, after all. Uh, no, I don't really? Think. Is that what you're going to do? More food, yay! Gold. Hopefully, I have a use for it. A shop. Well, that's perfect. 
the shady grove of the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. General shops offer a range of items and healing, but at prices a little higher than usual. Approach the shop. Let's see what he has. It's bound to be useful. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Is there anything I can buy? I don't need an axe, I already have a shield. I can't afford the healing cap or the explorer's helmet. I should have asked for gold from Meredith, perhaps. Hmm. I could sell one of my shields. Let's see, I've not equipped this. Get two gold for that. Yeah, that's not. Fling your opponent's challenges back in their faces. Don't have any wounds to heal. I don't really need food. I'm almost at the end. It's not really worth it. I'll just leave. Pity. Oh well. I'm sure I can handle the jack of dust. Dead Man's Gorge. I'm sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush! Draw one monster card. And I'll two of dust. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Combo Breaker. You recover what you can from the dead. Free gain cards. Good. More equipment. The healing cap. Increasing Yay. the effect of one sort of magic with another. All you need is a channel for power, and it's simple enough. More food that I don't really need. More gold! Let's actually go back to the shop. We approach the shop. Ooh, Damocles! Can't afford the Damocles. The sword is not better than the axe. Um, uh, I want the explorer's helmet. A small aid to navigation, but still. Interesting choice. Yeah, sure it is. Neither helmet would have helped me anyway. Since I won't be doing any healing once I have encountered the Jack of Dust. Which is this final card. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Mm. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Sweet. Four of Dust and the Jack of Dust. Alright then. Let's rock. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter attack. <laughs> Ah, let me dodge them.
Alright, I am doing really poorly. But it shouldn't matter, because I win anyway. Down into the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face eleven more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle. None reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you do improve, it. so do I. Balance must be retained. Yay. New encounters. New weapons and armor. And new challenges. Shall we deal again? Well, mayhaps next time. For now, this has been my first attempt. First-ish attempt at Hand of Fate. Let me know if you would like to see me play more of this. And probably fail horribly at, at some point. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. I will see you all next time.